Hey everybody, you're watching The Mud Guy RC and I'm The Mud Guy. I'm The Bear. And uh, I know it's been a long time, so I figure what we'll do is one big giant update video to kind of let you know where, where we're going and what where we're at with our projects. Uh, happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day if you guys are watching this now or tomorrow. Uh, yeah, happy Memorial Day. So we had some, Bear and I have some time. We can sit down. It's been a long time since, since we've done Avenge Time with the Bear. Hi. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's just, is, there, is it tough to get back on camera? Um, Are you finding this awkward? No, no, honey, it's always comfortable to be beside you. <laughs> yes. So, and these are always my favorite shows. Uh, first of all, welcome to all the uh, the new subscribers. We've had a huge jump. I know it's pretty pathetic that I've had a huge jump in sub counts and I've stopped making videos, but uh, we are here right now. Welcome. I think it's been like three weeks. Uh, we're up to 3,400 plus been subs. Busy we, now. we have, yes. We have. I don't like to say that though because everybody's busy. It's just we've had to get some things out of the way, but we're back and we're going to give you guys an update because I have been working on RCs. I just haven't been making videos. Uh, so anyway, 3,400 plus subs. And and as in you've been working on RCs, what's in front of you? This is an SE10B. I did not buy an SE10B. I converted my SE10.2 into an SE10B, which is actually not a hard thing to do. You only need, uh, I guess this is a skid plate, new bumper. There's two... Uh, posts in the back to add these body panels uh, and then you need the new body and uh, and, and there's like a cage that this body attaches to and it. And there's a little guy a little in driver there. in there too, a little scale driver. I think these things look so cool. You get rid of the Nerf bars and you have little clips on the bottom too that kind of hold this in place. So I'll show some close-ups. Had enough room on the body to get my new Aussie RC Playground sticker. Hello. So thank you Vasco. Uh, but anyway, when the SE 10.2 came out, I wanted to build it as a kid. I thought that was cool. And, uh, and you well, did. Yeah, right after, I did, I did, I did a series on it. And right after that, they came out with the SE10B, and I thought it was really cool, but I didn't want to go out and get another two-wheel drive. I only want one two-wheel drive. So I decided, I saw this This guy was selling these conversion kits. I don't really know how commonplace that is. Uh, but It looks really neat. Yeah, yeah, I really I really love the look of it. And uh, it's, so basically it's SE10B with all the factory team parts on it. So that's kind of cool. So I worked on that. So what else did we? Oh, we did. We did sell some RCs. We sold. Well, there were too many projects going on. I had way too many. I had lots of parts, lots of projects half started. Some weren't started. I had bigger. Some you know, I didn't even know about. I had a big. <laughs> I had a bigger appetite than than I was able to handle. Uh, you know, both both time wise and financially. But I have been working on RCs. I've been getting them ready for spring and summer. Every once in a while, the mud guy just needs to clear away the cobwebs. Yeah, yeah. And we did, we did. I know some people uh, ask about the provocateur. That I sold a while ago. The slash went to uh, to, to Texas. Chandler owns it now. Uh, you can find him, 115 Chandler 1. Uh, he, he drives it all the time and makes videos of it. So that's where, that's Hi, where Chandler. the, uh, yeah. <laughs> all my exes live in Texas. Oh. So, <laughs> and the, uh, we sold the rival. We sold the team associated rival. I know I, I got a lot of buddies that have that truck and I met them through that truck. I'm sorry. I just, and the reason, the number one reason that I sold the rival is because this gem here makes all bashers obsolete. The, the Mugen. And I know I've only really done one video on this, but I, 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 owning this, owning this, this is an eight scale buggy, owning this makes me never want to take any other RC out to bash. <laughs> so basically, it, 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 when it comes time to, to go out and drive RCs, you know, to, to bash RCs, to jump and go real fast and do all that kind of stuff. This is this is the car of choice. So I'm not a collector of RCs. I have RCs, but actually, to me that I own, I only own three. So Bear has two. You know, Monkey has a few, but I only keep three around. I, I don't want to collect RCs. I just want to have really cool. You know, a, a limited amount of really cool RCs. So the rival's gone, and we got rid of a whole slew of parts and stuff like that. Also, I, I have two. Uh, here we'll show these. These are uh, Rock Bouncer chassis. <laughs> I, I really want to build a rock bouncer. I bought this one first. You might recognize it. Uh, it's 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 been around <laughs> and it's never been completed. This one is actually up for sale right now on eBay. Uh, if you're watching this today, which is the Sunday before Memorial Day, you basically have one day if if you're interested in buying this. But I wanted to go with this one, and then I saw this one come up for sale, and I really 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 like this one. Now this is a this this one here is a solid rod chassis, a little heavy. I was going to use uh, uh, wraith axles with this one. This one here I'm going to make a little bit smaller. This is going to be Bear's Racer. 
she's this is this is when she goes out on the track this is what she's going to use it's going to be kind of like a backup for me it's going to be just a really cool rc that we own and we're going to use sex 10 axles on this so this is the one we're going to build up and this is the one we're going to get rid of so, so those I are i already know you're not going to like this comment they kind of look like dinosaur skulls they you know what i always think they look like is dragons and I th i've seen guys actually put like things on top uh like dragon what are they called the scales N not scales they're like the I don't know. fins <laughs> you know what i mean they're, they're like godzilla <laughs> you know it's, they're, they're not scales they're plates i guess i don't i don't know okay. but this one if you can see this is just i like this one is very beautiful this one's cool but this one is really really sweet yeah you're right they kind of look like dragon heads yes smaug so I think we have Scooch coming. I think he's coming to visit. So <laughs> I hear footsteps. I hear Scooch. Scooch, come say hi. You're gonna say hi to your fans. So all right, well we'll give Scooch some time to to get his nerve up. Uh, what what other things do we have going on here? Well, we've talked about things that we were gonna do in the yard that now yeah. I don't think we're doing. No, the uh, the bash arena. Uh, the bash arena. Yeah, I was gonna build a whole bunch of wooden jumps. Oh, the wooden jump video is almost at forty thousand views too. I, I, you guys love that how to stuff. You know, I think that's cool. I love it. Uh, but the uh, yeah, we're we're. I, I don't. The, the bash arena was supposed to be something that got us through the winter, and then we got into rock uh, the the race and that kind of the stuff. Race took over. Yeah, and and I just kind of. <clears throat> you were gonna show bash videos. I just don't know if I'm gonna make a bash park. We will focus on the track, so I'm going to try to get some uh, some track videos out, either two wheel drive stuff or uh, some some rock racing on a rock track. And uh, what else are we going to work on, Bear? I don't know. We got boatings coming up too. It's still a little I, chilly, but I need another trail video soon. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we're going to work. Those are my you know, favorite. I would I would say expect a lot less, except for this. Except this this will be this is going to be a long time process though. We're not going to spend a whole lot of money on RC this year. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do a lot more uh, running stuff and i would like to get back on every week schedule but right now it seems like every other week might be more realistic it's just things happen kids play sports and like i said i don't want to make up excuses because everybody's busy it's just what we prioritize and right now we can't always prioritize doing a video every week it takes up a lot of time and the kids they love rc but they also want to go fishing and frogging and and kayaking and do other things so anyway i'm making excuses up uh so anyway so don't expect too much from the bash arena don't expect too much bashing we're gonna try to do a lot of trail stuff maybe some rock racing stuff if you guys enjoyed that uh we rock video we're gonna go to events like that, that because was fun for you guys it's not rc but uh it's our inspiration for rc right now so i think it kind of goes hand in hand and uh, it was. It was a lot of fun, and it was fun to video, Scooch and it was really fun to edit. Fun that day. We, we, the reason we didn't show the finish of the, the Ultra 4 trucks was because the kids got tired. It was uh, The first race was two hours, and then the, the second one was going to be two hours as well. Basically, I think they see how many laps you can get in that amount of time. Uh, the yellow, uh, I think it was a, a supercharged four-banger, that, that one hit a tree early on, and took they, they went out of the race. Oops. They, they posted the, the, the results, and I just I don't remember who won, but... Now that I know a little bit more about it, I might go a little bit later in the day to watch the uh, Ultra Four cars, and maybe we'll, uh, you know, d then the kids will have some energy. But that's why I didn't finish that video. Uh, oh, one thing I want to talk about. This is this is we can go on and on a little bit about this. Is uh, uh, there's been a lot of discussion around the internet of what are the big channels right now, the YouTube RC channels, and uh, come here. yeah, Scooch, come on in, and. Uh, this is why I want to encourage new guys that uh, that want to get into making RC videos because it's a good time. If you have a new idea, and when I say new, I mean yeah, go go with something you know different than the, than, than the norm. Hey, buddy. And I think I think you can have a shot because right now the field is wide open. There's a lot of bigger channels that have basically dropped the ball and given up. And uh, I'm not saying that as to be insulting. It's just the, the truth. So there is a huge room for new channels to come up so if you're a new uh rc channel try something new work work at it a little bit and don't necessarily go the same route as other channels you know like uh do your own thing you know kind of like we're, we're trying to do our own thing here we don't really have any rhyme or reason to how we make up our channel we just try to make it somewhat interesting 
Uh, but I encourage you guys because, like I said before, it's the the field is wide open for somebody to take some higher positions in this. The, the guys that have been sitting on top are pretty much done. And uh, I would love to see, personally, and I know some of the other guys I talked to would love to see something new, something different, something inspiring. And if I can help you out uh, in any way, let me know. You know what I mean? I can plug you guys. Oh, speaking of plugs, Three Rivers RC. My favorite. Three oh, River I'm sorry. I can't say that out loud. <laughs> no, she loves Three Rivers RC. They're going to start their new race season, and we are, Hi, the, guys. We are the official sponsors of... Three Rivers RC. So we're going to be uh, communicating back and forth with them and plugging their videos because they have some of the coolest short track, I mean short track it's racing. It's fun. And it is fun and it's very nicely commentated. I love the instant replay. So anyway, Three Rivers RC, we're going to be, uh, you know, plugging them a lot because we really enjoy those guys. And they're Pennsylvanians too, so that's cool. And what else we got going on? We've been talking for a while. Nobody's watching anymore anyway. So, if nobody's watching, can we just start dancing? What do you think? Start making it, do the, do the move. <laughs> I think that's time should to sing go. A, should we sing a song? No, I think it's They like when we sing. I think it's time to go. Okay, <laughs> for the mud guy, I see you. I'm the mud guy. I'm the scooch. I'm the bear. Uh, take care, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that was so much better. And Thank we, you. And we did it all in one take, too. Look at Pepper.